Hello, Dragonlance, and the other Dragon one here, and I need to explain this. Alright, like a week ago, um, there was this trailer for The Addams Family. Now, I never heard or seen of The Addams Family. And then I looked it up, and I became obsessed. <laughs> so, here we are. Now, I actually took a picture of myself as a reference picture to get the position right, and I added kind of my style into it. So, that's the explanation of the fingers and the trying to get the knee and my body right, and especially the fingers on my right hand. That was the hardest thing in the world. Forgive me for doing this for so long. I mean, look at that, just look at that. It took like probably like 30 to 45 minutes to figure out that hand. Or oh did there we go, finally. Now for her face, I tried to keep sort of a blank face, kind of like Wednesday. However, when I was little, my mom told me that I used to have this, like, almost analyzing look on my face, so there's that. I tried to kind of encapsulate it a little bit. Now, the clothing choice is actually of, um, like, Victorian slash Gothic slash, um, Lolita. I actually looked up a lot of Victorian dresses to make mine. And I had, except I added pockets. Now the shoes, they're kind of special to me because they're, they're referencing like little black shoes I used to have when I was a kid that my mom would get me to wear to church. Little shiny black shoes. Very, very cute black shoes now. The little um, necktie thing is something I've always liked on things, uh, on the men actually. Now the. Now the necklace is actually ne is a necklace I actually have. It's a necklace that has the Celtic Trinity knot with it, but I didn't portray it very well because I didn't have a picture for it, so I did my best. <laughs> and those little ghost dogs out there are actually my past pets that died like a month ago that were dear little schnookums to me. <laughs> Their names were Snuggles and Webster. Snuggles is actually the one hovering above me and Webster is the one beside me. Now, for this look, I obviously tried to at least get some into it, so I did a very simple yet elegant hairstyle with a braided back, half up, half down look. I put a monocle because obviously I have glasses and freckles for an obvious reasons. I had freckles. I put a choker on there because I thought that was kind of gothic and I have a choker anyway. It became sapphire because that is actually my birthstone. Beneath it is a little bell because I freaking love bells. Now, this may be a surprise to you. These are socks that are both on my arms and on my legs. I've been looking for an excuse to use socks and I finally found a good one. Now, the blouse thing was actually based on a blouse I actually have. It's very frilly and I like it. Now, for the, um, fishnet gloves sort of thing. I actually have that, so I thought that would be a nice little touch to it. The little skull thing, it's just a nice little like Shakespearean add-on I thought would be nice with two feathers on it. I thought that would be kind of an interesting thing. Now the hair thing, is some, it kind of runs to my childhood as well. I used to wear a lot of headbands because I used to have bangs <laughs> and that would help tremendously. I also painted my nails black because, you know, Wednesday Adams, why not gothic? I looked up images of a um, old antique chairs and I referenced it so I could make it look as good as possible. And going on to the domes, my dad, how hard it was to draw them without reference pictures. So I ended up getting a reference picture and I thought I did pretty darn well with drawing them as little ghost dogs. Now their eyes and their bodies do glow. Okay, here I try to look up like oh, antique wallpaper, but I thought, you know what, that may take too long to draw and also I didn't want to copy anything. So I made up this old looking antique wallpaper. I also made nice board, or wooden board um, flooring as well. I should have put like some co oh, seeing it again. I should have put like some cobwebs or something on it because that would have made it more like old, antique, and creepy. 
All right, now I'm starting to shade. I actually wanted the hair to look decent in this, so I just thought I should shade the hair as well. I tried to shake the clothing. Now the clothing color choices, I actually tried to mix and match. The, the stockings and the um, hand stocking like things are pretty, um, you know, hardcore from the beginning. Like definitely I'm gonna make that white. And definitely some things are gonna be silver, definitely silver. And the idea of the stone was while I was drawing actually, because I thought, well, my dress is already red. I don't want everything to be red. And red is obviously my favorite color, so that's where that, that came from. I also tried to make the lips more realistic looking by making it look like that. However, that did not turn out so well as I wanted, again, to get that blank look. So here's the finished product. Now I hope you enjoy it. I'm actually kind of excited to see the Adams movie in the future. And hilariously, uh, I actually like this style. <laughs> I may end up using it in the future with non-Adam related things. It may be one of my um, OC's outfits, I don't know. But again, as I said, I do plan to see it in the future, and I hope it's a good one. I hope it's a really good one, and that it reflects the original series. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this journey lesson on the internet, and DB1 out.